Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to simulate a part that you download, like a piece by piece model you download from the manufacturer's website. So go to the piece by piece model here. You'll get some kind of file, which luckily, if you're lucky, you get it as a .lib file. But uh, you can download it as a text file too. So I'm going to open it in my Windows. And I'll put it in my project folder. So let's cut this. It's on our other screen. So I went ahead and put the .lib file inside of its own folder. And I gave it the name of the manufacturer part number. I'm going to delete any weird characters. I only want text and letters in here. Now, I have a .lib file, which is very convenient. A .lib, a .lib file is, it really just has text. So what you want to do is open piece by, the piece by model editor. So you want to get the piece by model editor, open that. If you can't find it, it would be under your cadence, utilities. So you might have it under PCB utilities if you're using 17.4 piece by model editor and you might have it under cadence just under cadence if you have 7 16.6 17.2 it, it really depends all right so what you do is you would uh, do the file model import wizard for capture so you enter enter model enter input model library browse and then now i'm going to find the model in my folder here piece by choose this dot lib file the destination symbol library would be some dot olb file that you define it's automatically defined for you here click next it's opening the library and then it would have it would want you to choose some kind of symbol to associate with your model part the symbol you would get from some you know the manufacturer's website or whatever you'd have to look up the device in the data sheet let's view the model okay it looks okay oh it's supposed to look like a mosfet all right so let's choose associate symbol maybe we can go with something close enough so you could select a library you need to go to a capture library that has a similar symbol for mosfet so you would go to this pc go to your c drive and then go into cadence SPB underscore 17.x, you know, whatever your version you have. And then choose the tools, capture, library. Now for MOSFET, I would choose like a discrete, discrete library has some good MOSFET looking, good some good looking MOSFET models. Or you could choose like a, mm, a transistor is good. So click open. And matching symbols. Oh, that's really cool. So it shows you the matching symbols you could work with. If you have something that's close enough, you know, you can just roll with it. Let's look at the data sheet for this part. This is how it looks on the data sheet. It has a TO-264 package for the footprint, uh, for, well, for the package. All right. So we can use something that looks like this drain at the top gate. On the gate and then source at the bottom with the body diode okay cool let's go back into our thing and this is exactly what we're looking at so click next model terminal we need to match our model terminal with the correct symbol pin Ugh. okay well if i were to guess i would say Drain might be pin number two. Uh, mm. I don't want to have to guess though. Oh, view the model. Here we go. All right. So look at the pins and how they're defined. Subcircuit 213. L drain is pin number two, looks like. Oh, no, no. Wait a second. L drain. Yeah. Let's see if there's a three somewhere. Okay, right, so RL gate looks like it's on pin one. 
drain looks like it's pin two, and then source looks like it's pin three. I'm just guessing from the the pin numbering and so on. So source is pin number three. Okay, great. So gate is pin number one, drain is pin number two, and source is pin number three. Now I can save the symbol and it gives the symbol the the gives the symbol name um, to be the part number name, even though we used a different symbol. For this model, the subcircuit looks like this kind of thermal pad thing. Our thermal has maybe multiple pins. Not sure what's going on there, so I'll just leave it alone and it's finish. Do you want to attach default rectangular symbols to models without corresponding symbols of the destination symbol library? Yes. If you have no idea what to choose for this, you can always just do finish and hit yes and you'll, it will make some blocks. Now that that's finished, you go to ORCID Capture to add the library we just created. So let's do that. All right, so how does this work? You can go to File, Open the Library, or you can add the library to a pre-existing project. Let's just open the library. Go to File, Open, Library. Then I will choose my library among my files. Once you've selected your folder, Click on your .olb, click open. And here you have it. Fantastic. You can add anything you want. You can modify the file however you would like. You can change the pin numbering. Oh, okay, so look at this. We have drain pin number four. Gate is pin number three, and source is pin number two. That's not good. Let's change this to pin number one, pin number three, or excuse me, the drain is supposed to be pin number two. Gate is supposed to be pin number one, and source is supposed to be pin number three. For some reason, it looks like the our numbers didn't quite work out so let's click off of anything scroll down choose edit pins just to make sure gate drain source blah 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 passive click apply then okay you can choose to associate piece by its model just for good measure let's go back into our libraries documents Cadence. So this is the other way you can do it too. You can create the capture part or find a copy and associate the .lib file with it. So double click, hit next, you know, and then remap just to make sure. So we'll call this drain, gate source, two, two, one, three, finish. And there we go. You can add all your part information, like manufacturer part number, or just part number. Part number is a default value. Check mark that, and you can add manufacturer, you know. Power MOS. Oh, you could say NPN, you know, power, something, something like that. And for the reference designator, you would choose like a Q and tab. Go ahead, click on the tab and click save. For this other part in the library, see what happened here. This got put into a two pin block, terminal block diagram for thermal management. I'm inclined to just leave it this way, but you can make it look more like whatever the data sheet says. So maybe. Maybe you can, I don't know, 
make it look like two pads. That it's however you want to do it. You get you can get artistic. This is how you create the library part to use in Orchid Capture. Then you can make a. Uh, then you can make some kind of um, project, and then you can import the library. Or you can add the library. So you can right click, add file, and then add this library to your project. Then choose place part, you know, place part. Click on the library part folder and then place it. Place your thermal. And then you can do your simulation. All right. This not found in the configurable libraries. That's fine. There's one more thing you need to do. For the piece bias, if you do a new simulation profile, you know, to a transient simulation, you want to add the configuration files. You want to choose library and then see how there's only nom.lib in here. Go to browse. Navigate to the folder with the library, the .lib file, double click it, and then choose to add it to the design. Click apply, then click OK. Save. Then when you try to run your simulation, you'll get errors like floating nodes and all of that. But you won't get an error because of, you won't have an error that says, oh, this part can't be simulated. It's just going to say it's unconnected. All right. That's how you add, a, that's how you download a manufacturer's piece by model, uh, create a capture symbol from it, and start a simulation. Well, you have to actually wire the devices, but when you run the simulation, it should be fine.